Everybody, welcome to Slash Tracks, Episode 7, with Alex and Josh. And as always, uh, Mr. Master Evil uh, wants the floor. So, uh, all right, you got it. Well, 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 prisoners. I trust you've had a horrible couple of weeks since we last chatted. Oh, you already know we did. Uh, I got the crate of cereal you sent me, and I, I gotta admit, I was shocked to see that you got me my favorite Cocoa Pebbles. But then, of course, when I opened the first box, it was Fruity Pebbles on the inside, and every box the prizes were gone. But then, hold on, I can handle that. I was shocked to see Alex actually got whole milk this time like you. Then I poured it into the cereal, and it was buttermilk. Do you get off on this psychological torment? Is, is that what it is? Yes! <laughs> Deliciously evil, isn't it? You and Alex. Oh, how did you enjoy your torture? I gotta say that you got me really good this time uh, with your evilness. Uh, uh, so, pretty good job. Wait, 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 wait. Did I hear that right? You mean you got it just as bad as I did? Oh, yeah. Uh, probably worse, even. Uh, depending on how you look at it, first off, the eggs he sent me that I had requested, I said a dozen, and there were only ten, possibly eleven. One was broke, and then when I went to put in the new light bulb that uh, Master Evil got me in my room so I can read at night, uh, he had actually only sent me 40 watts as opposed to 110 as per requested, and that's okay, uh, but I want, or need rather, because it strains my eyes, maximum light to room ratio. So we're going to have to work on that, I think. Us, we're going to have to work on this. Really? I'm sitting here with buttermilk, fruity pebbles, and, and you've got one egg short and 40-watt uh, bulbs because you're... Let me be you real quick. Josh, you know I need a solid 110 watt light bulb for maximum light to room ratio. Yeah. Oh, oh, and, and what's up with this, man? You know, diet, diet, Pepsi? One diet's not enough? You sent us these drinks? Hey, uh, Josh, I'm actually okay with this. Josh, it means it could have been better. Uh, he sent me Mellow Yellow, but I do prefer Mountain Dew. So he got me there. Silence, prisoners. Tonight's torture is about to begin. You will take a trip to a place far worse than deliverance. Oh, Jesus. You will take a terrifying trip through Tromaville. Oh, my God. Into oh. the countryside where you will have to suffer through the low-budget feature Redneck zombies. <laughs> Honey, are you done playing with your friends yet? Ma, we talked about this last week. You're not supposed to bother me when I'm torturing my prisoners. Well, when you get done, I made you some popcorn. With extra butter? You know I love extra butter. Yes, sweetie. Movie theater butter flavor. Yes! Oh, and Josh, my little furry friend, Mr. Flivel, has his eye on you, and if you get out of hand, he will pay you a visit and melt your face with his laser eyes. He loves to melt faces. Oh, hey, Don't Flivel. Mr. Flivel, such a bad kitty. Flivel is a bad kitty. Who's a cute, bad little kitty kitty? Did you miss me, Mr. Flivel? Oh, who's a good Flivel? What, 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 wait, wait. You know Mr. Flivel? You've been to his house? Well, I mean, come on, I'm being tortured, but, you know, we can still catch a pay-per-view wrestling event from time to time. He isn't a monster, Josh. Actually, he is. He is literally a psychotic monster that is holding us captive, Alex. 
and making us watch bad movies every two weeks. I know, I know that, and I understand. Uh, so, Master Evil, hey, Master Evil, Clash of the Champions on the 27th, right? What? 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 Right? Yes, of course. Now, silence. Your show is about to begin. I hope you are prepared for the horrifying horde of redneck zombies that await you. <laughs> Ma! Get the popcorn ready! I'm on my way! Okay, so while Master Evil's getting popcorn with Mother Evil, or Ma, and Bible, or whatever the hell your cat's called, his cat, Flivel. your cat. Flivel. Show some respect. Sorry, I'm not on a first-name basis with this stuffed cat like you are. We got some stuff to talk about later, just... Just saying. I feel like you're projecting on me right now. And Josh, we've talked about this. I have zero control over what he sends me as opposed to what he sends you. Maybe if you didn't have so much attitude with him and you just went along with what he, you know, wants us to do instead of being... You literally, we literally sit here and complain about the torture together. Yeah, but listen, there's a time, for, there's a time... Uh, for that, and there's a time not for that, and when he's directly speaking to us, just don't say anything. He watches us 24-7. Well, so, literally, when we're riffing on the movies and complaining, yeah. that is literally the time to talk about it. You know what? Does, hold on. He, he watches us 24-7 because... Does the red light mean it's recording? Yes! The, on the camera? Okay, so that red light's only on when we're watching the movies. He's not it's recording always me. on here. No, he's not recording me the other 23 hours, 20, 22, 23 hours out of the day. What? Yeah, not at all. Is he, that's not Are the same sure way the with you? Are you sure the not just not working? No, I don't think he's recording me. The camera actually is, the camera is, mon, it like, moves. The red light turns off and it goes down, like, Man, to the ground. I begged for shampoo and he sent me nothing but conditioner. I, listen. I don't even have hair <laughs> to condition. Where did all the shampoo go? He, um, listen, I feel you because he sent me a two-in-one shampoo conditioner mix. And it's, my hair isn't as shiny as I'd like. So that's, that's all, that's almost bad. Okay, Alex. So I'm actually happy that you have to watch Redneck Zombies with me. I don't know why you have to go down that road. you're going to get some torture. you get a little bit of torture. Listen. I, I, you don't think that I have other things to do? First of all, Master Evil sent me over a prime rib for my birthday, okay? I got a Mick rib. It was a year old and frozen. <laughs> he said, uh, you, hey, Mick rib's a limited time, though. So that's actually not that much of a punishment. You know what happens to a year old Mick rib when you thaw it out? You know what? <laughs> we should Red probably just up. start. Listen, let's just start the movie. Yeah, this, Redneck This is zombies. going nowhere. We have a circular yeah. argument right now. I, I, I have an argument. You, Redneck Zombies by Troma. First time I'm ever, I'm ever having to see this movie. It's going to be torture. So, uh, yeah, for all of you who are watching and listening along, let's watch Redneck Zombies. Let's do it. Here we go. We're going to talk later, seriously. All right, all right. I'll pencil you in. What, when you're not with Master Evil? Well, you know, uh, we do have a spin class together. And Action. we also do... Go. We do DDP yoga as well. Movie starting. Now there is a stamp of awesomeness right there. Lloyd Kaufman. That's the team I want to be on. Troma Team. Troma Team 5000. In late... Oh boy, we get a narrator. A 55 gallon drum of highly toxic experimental chemical warfare nuclear <laughs> waste slow. was rumored to be missing from a high security. I wonder what this plot sounds like. It's the same warehouse facility of Pentor too. Denials, it was finally admitted by top <laughs> they, Why don't they just call this trioxin? Right? The military den was denying it. That that doesn't sound realistic at all. General John Gillis Hey, Mr. Dick is from Fort Dicker. This is no human health threat. It's all full Retired circle, man. Scientist, Dr. Roger <laughs> Retired Fort Dicker. Yep, that's Mr. Dick. <laughs> particular barrel could mean the end of life. 
as well. Why are these oh, barrels? This why are these barrels so haphazardly strapped to the back of army jeeps all the time? I know, right? It's like we're we're uh, how should we uh, store and haul this zombie virus? <laughs> Old metal barrel, strap it on the back of a jeep. One guy, like he's driving a car holding a mattress. It's not even tied to the roof. He's just holding the barrel on top with one arm down the freeway. <laughs> keg and one, keg under one arm, barrel <laughs> under the other. I know one of these was a zombie virus. Which one is it? That kind of looks like the house that we were running to in our thumbnail almost. Right. Looks like a high school. This is the actual first person uh, shooter that was ever like demo demoed <laughs> for video game producers. Oh, they're drunk. Oh my god, I'm dizzy. This is what my dad sees on his way to the liquor store every day on his daily walk. <laughs> on his way down the hallway in the middle of the night to say, What the hell's going on in here? In his tidy whities <laughs> I need my medicine. Alfalfa. This is what he uh, ended up picking as a career later. He's reading a Fangoria. Oh, that, that was a pretty cool little thing there. I used to think it was cool to play chicken with cigarettes. Wait, you just go as close to your skin as possible? Is that what you do? Yeah, but I always ended up winning, so I got scars all over the place. <laughs> You're like, I'm a winner. Look at my arm. I won. Look at all See? these light scars. I'm a champion. I guess uh, the breakup of the Little Rascals was a lot harder on Alfalfa than uh, anybody expected. Yeah, he's having a hard time. Uh, his hair is uh, <laughs> very something about mary here. hair. Yeah, either that or Ben Stiller's been by to see him, right? <laughs> yeah, stop by. He's like, here's your care package from Ben. Somebody give this man a lighter, Jesus. Thank you. See, they're listening. Why can't you listen like they do? At least that's the preliminary indication. That guy is wearing uh, the same glasses that every MLB outfielder had in the early 1990s. <laughs> the flip-up. guy with the mustache there kind of looks like uh, he's going to go try to stop a place for making masks that melt children's faces in a minute. <laughs> looks like uh, Atkins or whatever his name is. We've always got a dollar store version. He's a dollar store uh, Tom Atkins. Is that that guy's name? Yeah, and that guy, you know, Alfalfa, that's the dollar store version of the young boy that lived at the house of the neighbors on the Burbs. The one that, he was eating the sardines. That's yeah. what he looks like. Quiet room. <laughs> that room is so loud. Kincaid is in there, actually. Let me and, uh, Yeah, Kincaid and the Dream Warriors are in the quiet room right now. Some people fantasize about being rich and famous. Other people fantasize about devouring human flesh. Do you ever fantasize about all the different ways you could die? <laughs> Jesus, dude. Yeah, I don't try not to think about dying too much. Wow, we didn't we didn't get a narrator ten minutes into the movie, but we got the credits ten minutes into the movie. Oh, look hey. at those graphics. That's fantastic. Yeah. What, what color is that? Is that I, I'm colorblind. Was that green or what? That was green with a red background. That was Nightmare on Elm Street colors. Buddy. Yeah, that's what it looked like to me. Hey, those hey, those credits are in Slash Tracks yellow. I know. Pink Floyd Piranha. Check that out. Oh, my God. Anthony Burlington Smith is in this movie. Yeah, so is Boots Easdale. I've seen Holy him in a few shit. other things. Good thing I know who the soldier and the hitchhiker are. That would have confused the shit out of me. <laughs> Introducing Bucky Santini. And saying farewell to. <laughs> well, I can't think. Uh, by the way, the uh, music here is uh, produced by Garth Brooks's younger, untalented brother. Uh, that guy was the production director and lighting coordinator. <laughs> <laughs> and craft service <laughs> provider. <laughs> Executive producer, associate producer, sound sound producer, <laughs> editor, assistant a, <laughs> assistant uh, director director, associate producer. I love seeing uh, high school uh, movies that high schoolers put together. It's always got like the same guy as everything in the credits. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's like we get it. You want it to have credits? We get it. <clears throat> 
Pericles. Wow, Pericles directed this, man. Pericles is the name of a dog. <laughs> That's amazing that a dog directed this film. I was thinking like the... Uh, the wasn't it Pericles in the Clash of the Titans? Maybe. Something like that. There's a Pericles in Shakespeare, too. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with that one. To, uh... Who the hell is this driver talking to, other than the audience? The radio. He's totally out of his mind. He's totally lost his mind. Somebody get this this production some lighters. Everybody is in need of a light so far. <laughs> I'm t yeah, I'm talking about you. Don't look at me like that. I said action. I'm sure this splotch right here is that tree right over there. I think that splotch is a tobacco stain. That old man dribbled like a Harlem Globetrotter. Hell, he was missing so many teeth, it looked like Mr. T did a work on Pity the fool. Pity the fool. Oh, she did say pity the fool. Find a trail before we die out here. Unless you can Have any of you guys ever heard about Jason? I don't want to scare you guys. But but there's a story. Alright, let's be sure to get at least three or four branches being broken in this scene, guys. Ah, uh, two more. Alright, can we get... Yep, there you go. Good job. Why did I feel like a rope was going to hit his foot and pull him up into a tree the way they were Why was I hoping a rope was going to hit his foot and... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. He's like, whoa, whoa. If he got caught by a rope and lassoed and pulled into a tree, though, he'd lose his script that he's reading his lines off of. <laughs> Come on, let's get a move on so we can have camp set before dark. All this oh, it's Ranger Touchy. Yeah, all of a sudden, just creeper creeper alert number two there. He looks like the, the sidekick on Highway to Heaven. <laughs> Except I was he's missing say, um, really? yeah. What were you going to say? Oh, I can't remember the last name. I don't want to embarrass myself here. He passed away. He was on uh, the rules for dating my teenage daughter or whatever. Oh, John Ritter. Yeah, he kind of looks like a dollar store John Ritter. <laughs> yeah, but it's the John Ritter from the It miniseries. Uh, where he's got his, yeah, where he's got his beard. This is what him and Junior are up to these days. Who the hell is training these this uh, military? This guy's just smoking weed the entire... Oh, he's talking to a dog. Dude, there's Pericles. There's the director. Pericles is actually riding shotgun. <clears throat> you know that dog is hating that shit with those glasses, right? Oh, for sure. I, ha I put a uh, squirrel on my dog's head today, and uh, my dog was not having it for more than like 10 seconds. There At goes least the barrel. dogs just bark or whine. Cats will wait until you fall asleep and leave you a little surprise on your pillow. Or yeah. try to steal your breath and murder you. Shoot you toadstool. with lasers. Shit on a toadstool. Hey, so this guy, okay, whoever's in charge of him, okay, this barrel He's is so dangerous. Yeah, so this barrel is this important that it can destroy all of mankind. This isn't the guy's fault who's in charge of it. It's the guy who put this guy in the Jeep in charge of the barrel. He's at fault. He knows he, this guy's an idiot. And he just had to have it fall out of his Jeep down the same hill from Freddy's dead. <laughs> yeah, that, yeah he, he, John Doe is still rolling. He rolled yeah. right past that barrel. The barrel just rolled right past him. Get off my hey, it's Donkey Lips. <laughs> my, ladies and gentlemen, Nickelodeon's Michael Bauer. I promise that's him. Prove me wrong. I dare you. I just need my barrel. Now, what we have here is a failure to <laughs> What we have here is a failure to entertain. Damn, man. That was, uh, he, he's faster than the Flash. Hey, that scene looked like he just snuck away from sleeping with the farmer's daughter. <laughs> it's like, oh, right. boinks! <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, what are you doing with my daughter? There's a real funny joke about that. that... Now everybody here and it's going to want to know that joke. Too bad. Hey, look for it in the comments down below. Christmas. Hey, now you want to hear it, right? 
I do want to hear it, but I want to see what this guy's going to do with this barrel. <laughs> oh, here we go. See if he can jump away as fast as that Jeep did. All right, let's uh, let's get the most cliche versions of red next we can. Anyways, it was an accident. You see, well, all these guys are on our thumbnail. Those guys are actually on our on the roof of the yeah, house the we're roof. running from. Yeah. You know, they promised all the swill they could drink down in the valley for you got. And by God, they like their swill and they need it. So now I think we're gonna have to use your still to deliver. And we gotta look out for Roscoe P. Coltrane, you know. Goo, 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 goo. Be sure to salute them shorts. We run, we jump, we swim and play. We run and go on trips. But these zombie conta containers last forever. How many takes did that take for him to do that? Friendships. Have a nice paint job. Camp, I don't want to hold you in my heart <laughs> when I think about you. This barrel came apart. It's I hope we never part. Now get it right or pay the price. They're gonna give his. They're gonna give his ass a, an awful waffle if he doesn't uh, think of something slick to say. Awful waffle. <laughs> well, not whenever you're standing in front of it. I don't think that those. <clears throat> I don't think that those rednecks have enough syrup to do a uh, like a proper awful waffle to that guy. Oh God, dang it! He went and got away too fast there. That dude on the right. That dude on the right has his shirt tied over his chest like he's a bikini model. You know that right before the scene started, be like, "Hey guys, I'm gonna try this. Just don't say nothing." Shh. Sure, do get my Alright, quit talking and let Tar Man out already. <laughs> he, he, hey man, I bet you he would have done the done the stunt too if they it paid enough. Right. I guess in this case it'd be like oil man. Shut up, your makeup that's supposed to look like dirt's running. Dang, that thing's heavier than a cement. Than cement and a mule? How many times do I have to tell you, Daddy? Call me LMA. No, right. <laughs> I love it. Okay. The there we go. There we go. Gee, Daddy, why does Billy Bob wants to call him LMA? Well, Junior. I'm Jethro, Paul. I'm Junior. Well, Jethro. I'm Jethro, Junior. Brother's kind of. We gotta hand. We gotta head over to Sheriff Taylor's house and see if my daughter is trying to <laughs> trying to marry him again. And then we're gonna play in a band. I like it. Well, We're the darling sister. That music just put me in a good mood. <laughs> I would whistle it, but I can't whistle it. Just picture in the picture in the Andy Griffith thing. You boys hurry up with that thing. So they don't even know what's in this barrel then. Just bring that barrel over here next to this big old uh, fallen tree, nowhere close to where a tree is. Uh, you've been a good old girl to us, Flory. Uh, now we need a good old boy. I see what they're doing. They need a new barrel for their still. Oh, shit. It's like my daddy used to say to me before he got run over by that tractor. Sometimes, life sucks. Well, you boys hurry up. <laughs> Did you hear that sound effect? Yes. Where it sounded like a whistle slide? That's straight out of Freddy's Dead when he's killing, uh, killing Spencer. Boing, 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 boing. Paul, I think this is some guy named Dan, Active Radio. Yeah, because all three of them things are super radioactive. I learned so last week in the second grade. <laughs> Dr. Emmett Brown shows up. Hey, I need that right for the 1.21 J.O. Watts that gives me an average. Uh, something about the future. Uh, Marty Scott. You sure weird boy. You must take after your moss. My sisters. Now get to work, Ellie Mae. Yeah, well, you don't have to be sarcastic about it. Yeah, that's progress. He actually called him by the name he wanted to be called by. We're oh, getting somewhere cool. finally. He's like, get over there and do it, Ellie Mae. 
I said call me Junior. Oh, oh, nudity. We're going to see some boobies. Oh, no, he covered him up. Still a PG-13 offering. He's wearing the Razor Ramon tuxedo <laughs> uh, vest is? look right now. Who is? <laughs> Ellie Mae. <laughs> she is. Thank you. <laughs> she, oh, I apologize. I apologize. I think something's bad's going to happen just based on the, the, the sound, the music. It's like bright green and smoking, and they can't tell any difference between that and their normal slot. I need more dark, ominous tones. More! More! Come on, Pericles! Step it up! That looks like a big old vat of Surge Cola. That's where, uh, this is where Surge was actually produced. <laughs> Surge is actually, was created on the set of Redneck Zombies. Yep. Age 10 years. <laughs> Do you remember Citra? Oh god, yes. It was like the cheap dollar store broken ass down version of Mountain Dew. There's some other like surge type drink and it's got a real weird name, but I can never remember Looks it. Like fertilizer. I like it starts with a T or something. Smells like I, I like uh like I was gonna say like the the gar the grocery store brands like Doctor Thunder and all that stuff, Mountain yeah. Lightning. Those aren't bad. They're not good, but they're not bad. Yeah, they're, they get the job done. Well, damn it, Ellie Mae. I told you not to ever throw a damn barrels we stole off of people. Was it the ice cream man? <laughs> Hold your pants on. I've heard keep your pants on. Hold your pants on. We ain't got no belts. Here's your money. Do you like reaching in your pocket and only feeling your leg? What well, do you? Just uh, on his normal on his normal route, right? <laughs> in the middle of a, a maiden hayfield. This is where I find them every week. You're gonna come across an ice cream man truck. In the middle of a maiden hayfield, and you're gonna see a gigantic ice cream cone. You're gonna have to pry it up. Oh wow! This is how Jason kept himself uh, wealthy, kept himself in money. That's how he kept himself uh, fully stocked in like dirty old teddy bears and uh, sheets from the 1950s. Yeah, and that's uh, he's got a very familiar shirt on there, kind of like Jason did his sackhead Jason. This you know what? Is. This ice cream man is still not scarier than the one from whenever I was a kid. <laughs> this has got a very creep two ish, creep show two ish vibe with the the guy on the back of the truck talking to the kid. Yeah. And, Boy, you always trying to get those copies early, Billy. It's gonna be the death of you. Wait, what is he selling them? Uh, it looks like he's. Is it dip? I have no, tobacco, maybe? Tobacco, it's the tobacco man. In that case, he's not as scary as the tobacco man from whenever I was a kid. Yeah, that's tobacco for sure. Well, let's hope so. That ain't how I like to eat ice cream. <laughs> They're buying the tobacco. They're totally stoked about buying it from this guy who's got a mask over his head with his skin falling off from the one eye hole. They're like, well, you know, this guy's, you know, probably had this product multiple times. You know, this probably checks out. We, we should have Late, some. Later, he would learn that his product was best snorted or smoked. <laughs> I wonder what the late fine is for Ellie Mae keeping the tuxedo vest for this long and just, like, put it into his daily rotation or her daily rotation. I apologize, Ellie Mae. It's like tobacco man, tobacco man. I don't. Your your voice changers, batteries are low. Change them. I can't understand what you're saying. So we Dollar, got. Oh, go ahead. Dollars to donuts. So that that uh, registration is uh, expired on that guy's truck. <laughs> well, he's just he's trying to get done here so he can go chase down dairy in them. I'm making a Jeepers Creepers joke. If anybody's wondering. 
Jeepers Creepers was one of the first movies. Uh, well, no, that's a lie. They're like one of the one of the first few movies I fell asleep in. That movie bored me to death. Jeepers Creepers. Alex, open up your peepers. <laughs> It'd be funny if he started talking like a chipmunk. Oh, uh, wrong, wrong setting. All I heard was he's gonna their death and something about in their mouth. So this guy has no idea how to retain customers. He just got three sales. Now he's scaring the living piss out of them. They're not coming back to buy anything, bud. You screwed future uh, sales up. Way to go, have pal. to get me a new route. Maybe drive through the creek next week. <laughs> yeah, well, good work. <laughs> good transitions there, uh, Pericles. <laughs> Look, but he's food here. No. Listen, one ounce has more protein than a five-ounce T-bone. Sure. It's good for your skin. It's a natural... So are we supposed to believe that this uh, group of people, they're just all like college buddies or something? Exactly. I have no idea, but that guy talking, I almost positive played Jermaine, Jermaine Jackson on the Jackson 5 miniseries. <laughs> Probably did. I'm totally sold. I'm positive he is. He looks familiar. You know, I understand you have to exercise your manly hydraulics, but uh, if you ever want to get to the campsite, you better come on down the trail. You what problem children. <laughs> Who said we wanted to go to the campsite, you incessant <laughs> whining pain in the ass? But a campsite is where you make it. That guy's got a lot of things to do. He's on he hasn't even completed his mission with uh Jonathan yet. They can't go to the next episode of Highway to Heaven until they complete this one, so no wonder he's like in such a hurry. What the hell's Bon Jovi doing in the cast? Anyway, you're going to love this place. It's a dynamite camping spot, and it's got a pond to piss in. Oh, sounds wonderful. Oh, yeah, pond to piss in? I'm sold. <laughs> Whenever you see it, you're going to be like, I'm taking a piss in that pond. Yeah, say no more. Why didn't you say this earlier, Wilbur? <laughs> you had me at pond to piss in. Come on, we better get going, you know, before the tree... Stop, stop! That was, that was whenever I told you you had a bottle to piss in. Stop. I'm here, I'm here. <laughs> None of these people have regulation military haircuts. <laughs> That's what you're catching on to here? <laughs> yeah, look at their hair. This That's, is ridiculous. These guys definitely can't be military. It's their the, hair. <laughs> the barber, hey, the barber in uh, Child's Play 3 would have a field day with these guys. Robinson! Unless you want your ass hanging in a stockade. You better get your ass back out there and get me that barrel. And then bring your ass back in here and wipe it. <laughs> What's in that barrel? You can take the whole motherfucking... Why do you gotta be so... <laughs> I wonder what uh, drill sergeants do nowadays in COVID times. Like, they can't get right in your face anymore. <laughs> they have to yell at you from a distance. I wonder how that goes. Drop down and give me 26 feet away. <laughs> Make sure, maintain your proper distance, maggot! Do I look like an idiot to you, Alex? I'm nearsighted, sir. You're going to have to come closer. <laughs> no, sir! Something bad's happening. I can tell from the dark, ominous tones. By the way, if you're going to make moonshine, it's always best to not empty the contents of, your, of a barrel before making a homemade stew. Yeah, to leave whatever was in the barrel before. <laughs> just, just leave it the fuck in there. Hey, it is Surge. Holy shit. Yeah, that's Surge, man. Damn, he's got jars full of this stuff. He's got a whole collection. <laughs> All of a sudden, we see a ping pong ball bouncing over the top of him. It's at a fair. <laughs> it's one of the games. We got boink, to boink, boink. Get scum into the movie. I like playing ping pong. Oh, that was a smooth transition from that scene. Dark music to like, look at this. Well, this is really nice. Where's that pond? I need to take a piss. 
<laughs> could possibly piss in that whole field. <laughs> you told me I would have a pond to piss in and punch and pie. Come on, let's set up. Ellie Mae gotta get them fish. I'm going fish. Got worms? Yeah, but I'm going to <laughs> Now that's that's Academy Award winning right there for the writing. You get it? Because like he asked if he had worms for bait, but he was like saying he actually had worms, but he still didn't yeah. go. It was so clever. Like so the, clever. It's like in Jason Lives when they're in the high speed chase and they go past that sign that says speeding and it says question mark, speeding. I remember Tom? the name of that drink, by the way. It's called Squirt. Squirt? There's there's a soda called Squirt. It's a citrus soda called Squirt. <laughs> we we have Squirt in the fridge at my really? house. We, yeah, my dad loves Squirt. Really? Oh yeah. I don't know if it's more of a West Coast thing, but a, a lot of nope, people drink nobody, Squirt over here. Nobody listening knows that that's what y'all call your nephew. You need to get him out of the refrigerator, dude. Oh. Meanwhile. Hey, at, at least this movie is consistent. And that guy has got a serious problem. If that's how it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I He's feel alive, him. man. Well, this water sure is cold. Ooh. And it's deep, too. Yeah, I wish I could have that much fun doing anything in my entire life. Like, he is having so much fun pissing in that pond. I wish there was anything in my life I could do. Where I had that kind of exuberance. He's got some high pressure uh, system, dude. Jesus Christ. Still going. Is that water deep? Yep, it's cold too. I think that's the second best uh, urinating scene I've seen in a film uh, from the '80s. I think the first. I think the first one will be Revenge, uh, Revenge of the Nerds Part Two, where Ogre is pissing in the back, and you can hear him peeing for like three minutes. <laughs> I don't even have a comment. <laughs> I'm the shaver. Are you sure aren't very good at your job? Yeah, Shit. Yeah, Ellie Mae's like, do you do Brazilian wax by per chance? That's, that's pretty good. That's, that's good. So who is this guy supposed to be? I heard about them, uh, the new he just shaver? picked up no, the shaver no, from the barbershop. No, no no <laughs> that's, 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 that's who he is? Yeah, he just picked up a stranger. He's going fishing with him. Well, it's Ellie Mae. She's looking for a date. Yeah. My brother, he gives me haircuts. He gives me real good. We give you a shave and a haircut for free. Oh, I don't need to shave a haircut, but I tell you, I need I'm sorry. I was doing the cut the shave song there. <laughs> <laughs> And so it begins, <laughs> the shaving of a lifetime. The evil one, shaving. That guy's razor blade, the old school razor blade he has where you pop in like the actual razor blades right there. Uh, when I was a kid, my grandpa had one like just like it from the 30s or 40s or whatever. I would, I would use that as a last resort. Like if I ran out of stuff, that thing was terrifying, but I'd use it if I had to. <laughs> Metal top, you'd screw it in. You're like, you'd twist it at the bottom. <laughs> Ellie Mae ain't never been so disrespected before. Damn, this movie had enough money to get a Polaroid camera? <laughs> right. Son of a gun. <laughs> this, is, this is a scene that was cut from a Surge commercial. That's Exactly, that's, that's what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> If, you, if you're curious about how Surge tasted, there you go. <laughs> you're supposed to pretend like you like it, you dumb son of a bitch. Only the best. Wait a minute, I've never seen that. Vic, I've never seen Victor French do that on Highway to Heaven. What the hell is going on? <laughs> this show's got dark. <laughs> yeah, this is. Hey, Jonathan, I got some skunk weed for you. Camera zooms out and he's on the shitter. I want that guy to die first. He is. Well, I'm the most 
worth this one in this film. I got bad news for you there, Mr. John Ritter. You can make as big of a joint as you want. There ain't a lighter on set. Yeah. Uh, John, Mr. Ritter, uh, I'm your agent. This is a very big time Hollywood meeting. I've got some good news and some bad news. I did secure you a part in a, in a film. Well, what's the bad news? Well, <laughs> let me brace yourself. It's Redneck Zombie. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going to say Problem Child 4. Well, it actually is Problem Child 4. Redneck Zombie. Please. Um, he, he wasn't even in Problem Child Three. They, if that one was straight to the straight to TV USA Network. I know, I know. And for they some got the grandpa back. Yeah, Jack Warden. Hey, the movie just took a turn for the better. Is, is that a girl or a guy? I have no clue. <laughs> I like knockers. <laughs> yeah, I like knockers too. What would you do for a pair of knockers? Yeah. I like get to do too. my first blurry oh, editing. Shit, <laughs> you know what you should put over the nipples? Oh. What? Uh, our, faces? Pit, uh, our, fa- <laughs> our faces? Our faces? <laughs> a can of Surge Cola. <laughs> hey, yeah. No, hey, a picture of uh, Victor French from uh, Highway to Heaven. You want to come in and watch And John, John Ritter on the other. John Ritter on the other. <laughs> what do you name your What do you name your but movies? I'll see you later. John okay. Ritter and <laughs> Victor French. Here, Bert. Say hello to ah, John thanks, Ritter Bert. and Victor French. No oh, thanks, Ellie Mae. Oh, I don't like search, but I like knockers. What show are they watching? I have you know? no idea. Uh, but what's great... the name of that porno? That's Carrie Dairy. That's Dairy Queen after hours. There was a show. It was like a, a like a pilot that was on HBO. It was kind of like a Taxi Cab Confessions, but it just never really took off. <laughs> Dairy Queen Diaries is what it was called. Uh, uh, yeah, I caught like part of an episode once. Okay, are they smoking pot or doing LSD? Stop! Stop it! You're messing with the filters. And if I ever smoke a weed that's that strong, Jesus Christ. That guy is like, son of a bitch. I was on an NBC miniseries less than a year ago, and now I'm on this pile of shit. I mean, John Ritter's here, but shit. That doesn't say much. He did Problem Child 2. And it. Only in my mind. Only in my mind. Or is it that damn clown again? Yeah. Hey baby. baby, hey baby, Ooh, baby. Well, thank you for tuning in to Slash Tracks, where we give you a migraine. Hey, you know, You're least, welcome. At least Troma produces their own films, because I can't imagine how the pitch meeting would have made if they were trying to get someone else to pay for this film to get made. Oh my god, I'd love to be there for it. There's a guy that does uh, comedy pitch meetings for movies on YouTube. Yeah. And I'd, I'd like to see his face. Yeah, because, I, I mean, this is a self-produced all the way. And I gotta hand it to Pericles, he's directing the shit out of this movie. For a canine, he's, do, he's not doing too bad. The pacing is very good. Okay, this scene should have ended like ten minutes ago. Yeah, I'm not sure why this is still going on. It's like uh, unneeded branch snapping when they were walking. It's like, okay, like, we get it. He's walking to another part of the woods. Kip, like, giving us a shot of him stepping on a branch. <laughs> yeah, we don't Zoom need on the foot. Whoever was doing the editing, if it, maybe it was Pericles' sister, uh, you know, a, a Ulysses, dog. Ulysses? <laughs> yeah, Ulysses. She's all like, uh... He's all like, ah, go ahead and use every effect you have on that new uh, fancy editing equipment you got. Well, there's about 50 more uh, different things I can use on here. Have at it. Just knock yourself out. This looks like when someone first gets an iPhone for their very first time in their life and they're trying to use all the filters. <laughs> exactly. They're like, <laughs> I'm in this movie. That's pretty cool effects for Troma. This isn't bad. This is this oh. actually isn't bad here. This is usually how I feel after drinking Jaeger. 
God, man, I cannot tell you how many bottles of Jaeger I've drank in, in my lifetime, Josh. Thousands. Thousands. That, that stuff's so bad, even the aliens that were, like, in their bellies are, like, running for the hills now. Well, who the hell decided to make a liqueur that tastes like black licorice? First of all, black licorice is disgusting. <laughs> Jaeger should be red licorice flavored. I don't know. I just, just for some reason, it, it doesn't it doesn't make me like tequila. I always get sick to my stomach on tequila, but Jaeger just doesn't bug me. Jaeger and Red Bull, or like Jaeger and Rockstar, is pretty good. But the problem is, it sneaks up on you. You'll have three or four of them, and you won't realize you've had it because it tastes pretty good. Thomas Ashley, sounds like a trauma movie. It sneaks up on you. It. Yeah, sneaks the fuck up on you. Well, yeah, you know how it is around here in these parts. If it's green, you get a discount. It's, it's the green discount. This was left over from this from the house that uh, they stayed at in Troll Two. It's Neil Bog uh, tea. It's Neil Bog tea. Yep. You don't want to buy from him. Besides, you really like. And his stuff isn't green. <laughs> yeah, you know it's not authentic Neil Bog tea if it's not green. If it's green. Meanwhile, in the washing machine. Fest, and the, the kid's name is Fester. This is an origin story, folks. This is what messed up Fester on the Adams family. Oh, hell. Put it in his bottle. I know. Trauma don't give a shit about the tropes about not hurting kids, man. That kid's already scaring me. That kid is 31 years old now. <laughs> that kid is me. <laughs> I'm having to keep my own personal stuff. I have a hard time being a dad and seeing kids in horror movies. It just messes with me. Who's who's the person that brought the two-person tent uh, with the 13 people on the camping trip? Who was in charge of uh, they, lodging? They had a budget, and they spent it all on their weed and LSD budget, man. They're like, all we can afford is the three-person Wenzel, okay? We can't get anybody else in this tent. And the one roll of one ply. Sleeping on the ground when you're when you're camping is the worst. You wake up as soon as the sun comes out. It's hot as hell in your tent. Uh, if you drink, you're hungover. It's like, what are we gonna have for breakfast? Well, we're having hot dogs again. I would have swore those campers last night were the ones that were turning into zombies or whatever. Oh, it was those campers. Gotcha. This gal's hair, she looks like Steve Perry's beautician did her hair. It looks like Bon Jovi needed to make a little extra money back in the 80s. Just a small town camper, working in a trauma film. <laughs> she drinks the green wild life, got eaten by the zombie man. Man, he's just throwing profit away. Just broke that jar, his dad is going to be pissed. She hears her screaming out there, wake up, wake up, wake up. You hear that? She's constipated. Tickle the scalp. Okay, so they don't want brains, they want scalps. Damn it, there's a hair in my food. It's nice that these zombies had enough time to put on the Halloween makeup. I think that, they, that her blowout would have protected her better from uh, zombie attacks. Oh, those people are fucking sleeping like rocks. Damn! Take it easy, we only got one. Sally! Sally! Is that, is that their, they have names now, by the way. <laughs> Sally. Sally. I know there's a junior, an Ellie Mae, and a Sally. Sally. Oh, and a Fester. And a, and a little kid Fester, yep. God, you know, wait, speaking of waiting tables, what we were talking about before filming, uh, that's like, the way this guy's eating is like every three-year-old I've ever waited on in a restaurant. <laughs> Just shit everywhere. Crackers, milk, apple juice. It looks like a goddamn bomb went off in the booth or the table. 
It's like we gave you crayons and the little kid man you to color on. What the hell? You have to call a professional steam cleaner in to fix the booth before you can reseat it. That smells like corn. Sure does. There's no way this guy's catching her. She's at a she's at a, a light jog and he's not catching her. I know. It's it's the magic shoes. Mama said they was my magic shoes. They'd take me anywhere. I was running. The, the only way that this this lady was getting caught as if she ran directly into his arms, which is exactly what happened. But maybe you're in shock. But that's it. Now the first day book says about shock. Says first day. Hey Josh, come with me to Camp Anawana, and we'll we'll have some fun. Yeah. Josh, you know who this guy reminds me of? Who? Okay, our one of our favorite guys. We've talked about him before. Ernest P. Worrell. He's one of the guys who's working uh, with the skinny guy all the time, and his yeah, eyes yeah. go back and forth. Like his kid. Looking. Uh, yeah, that's his son. That guy's had some Jaeger and Surge. Is this yours? The effects are not bad for the zombie look, though. I get That's, it. He's a zombie, yeah. and he's got blood on his neck. Red neck zombies. It makes perfect sense now. <laughs> I love how he just hands the zombie the person. Yeah. Like, Here you go. Uh, will you like, try to get away, lady? <clears throat> Dude. She just wants to leave a beautiful corpse. Yeah, foreshadowing. Huh? She's not even screaming. Uh, that was a little underwhelming. That's a pretty cool effect. Troma has some pretty good uh, practical. I'll give him that. <laughs> and then they go and have zombie burp, and it just totally fucks up my compliment. That guy's a total total pig. He's already had two bodies now. He's not saving any for his family. I know, man. It's like you gotta pace yourself. I know you're living in you know, over here in America we've got the all you can eat stuff, but you know, one trip's enough. Yeah, I was surprised to find out that we're like the only country that has all you can eat buffets. Ooh, Nelly. That's what I can and one real? of the only and one of the only countries that tip Waiter, waiters and waitresses. In in the UK, it's like an insult to tip a waiter. Yeah, because don't they build it into the price of the meal or the price oh, of they, the they get paid experience? Very well, oh, and they're mama, treated very bath. good. So it's like you're it's like you're saying yeah, they yeah, eat. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like an insult if you give them. He's like, well, I'll be dipped in hog snot. Well, that I could oh, say it better than myself. Them, them guts was two feet to the left yesterday. Yeah, in some countries it's uh, considered rude if you don't burp uh, or fart at the dinner table too. Uh, have you ever heard of those? I really need myself yeah. a yeah. now. But yeah, like, uh, the all you can eat thing is real, man. That's that's like a it's like an American thing. Most countries aren't as overweight as the United States of America. The United States of America has taken uh, glutton, gluttony to a hot, to a whole new, new level. Oh God, this guy's gonna make one hell of a zombie. Oh man, that's that satellite dish on the top of your roof back in the eighties. Oh, Babe, you're gonna get Babe mixed into this, or is that Wilbur? You know, I never understood in Charlotte's Web why everybody's enamored by the pig. I would be like, "Fuck the pig! Somebody catch that spider!" <laughs> that spider can spell words in its web. Fuck the pig! Get me the spider. Sorry, Perky. Charlotte's Web was one of the here. first cartoons uh, that I ever watched that Let's that actually vocalized still. the concept of death. Who would you be more excited about, the pig or the spider, man? Well, probably the spider, but in reality, probably the pig, because when I was a little kid, I ran into a spider's web and broke open its like sack. Oh yeah, and all, all the little babies crawled all over my. I just, like I was like three or four. Okay. So I don't like spiders. I stepped on one and they did that. They went up my leg. But oh, yeah, it's disgusting. Yeah, listeners, anytime you're outside and you're not around any trees or anything, but you feel like a web on you all of a sudden, that's a baby spider. <laughs> just so you know, that's what they do when they're born. They shoot out into the wind on little strings of web. So. Yeah, it's not just a web hitting you. You've got a spider crawling on you. 
and they're probably crawling in your nostrils, in your mouth, and in your Don't ears when you're asleep. Yep, you have no idea. There's always a spider within six feet of you, no matter where you go. It's proven. Look it up. Hey, look, Ben. There's that dream song. Let's drink some. We'll get in trouble. It doesn't matter. No one's home and will never know. All right, so you could drink it first. No, Got it in one take. Drink. Yeah, these kids look extremely uncomfortable saying their lines. They're like, okay, you get your line out as fast as you can, and I'll do the same, and we'll race. Yeah, oh my god, they're making us drink this surge. <laughs> yeah, kid. <laughs> okay, yeah. That, oh, I need to hit that, that, that again. <laughs> I need to hit that again. Uh, I played Templeton in the school play of Charlotte's Web. Yeah, you told me about that, and Templeton, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, Templeton is actually quite the role, because he's one of my favorite characters in the production. Was, I had a blast. When the lights go out, we should get this poor guy to board, I remember. Okay, people, when you make Jello, you got to let it set. You're not... You're just, it's never, it's never gonna gel. Yeah, you're never gonna get jigglers like that, lady. Ah, oh be God, This sure some. What about, what about this shake it pudding? Remember and that? it's green. Jed must no, I don't remember pudding, that. Pudding shakers. If this stuff works like it smells. Bill Cosby the sold. Boys must be oh, on oh the jigglers. Well, it, it, was, it was pudding. You put the mix of the milk and like this, take this jar home before like, we sample shaker it. thing. Come on, let's go. Put the lid on, you shake it up, and it turns into pudding. It was like a thing in the early 90s. Josh, I, would, Josh I would rather drink this moonshine uh, than something Bill Cosby was serving me. 100%. Do, Dude, I had some earlier, and I'm... Real yeah, you don't go to sleep on me now, buddy. Oh, this is a fine time to be <laughs> There's Josh again, sleeping on a job. Sleeping on a job. They must really be lost. I haven't slept no, that hard on a job right. since reading Hell Lake and Death Moon. Well, if they're playing <laughs> were those books? I, I haven't heard those novelizations. Oh, God. Are those bad? <laughs> Hell Lake I thought was bad until I read Death Moon. Now what Hell Lake's like shaking. Oh, God, is that a person? So, like, I'm not even lying. There are pages in Death Moon that are just random books strung What happened to her? She's dead, man. Jason X Death Moon. Check it out. I'm going to the slash of my book. What happened? She just now realized she's a. I loaned her those pants. Oh, this is why I never loan clothes to her right here. It's a pair of legs. It's a raccoon. That's, a raccoon. That's all they brought to eat on the camping trip. I know. A pair of legs. <laughs> the guy, hey, the guy that looks like John Ritter and Victor French, he looks mildly, uh, like, uninterested slash kind of distracted. He's not upset, though. Ever since he took his hat off, he don't even look the same. Now he looks like the dark-haired Luke brother, but like how he looks now. So what's it going to be? The dark, the Duke brother, the older one. The brown head. Not John Snyder, the other guy. He looks like that guy now. <laughs> But not Coin Vance. Not Sean William Scott. Not Johnny Knoxville. Not Dude. John Snyder. The only other one. Oh my god. Dude, get out of there. Those There's going to be Velociraptors. I promise. There's are these be raptor puppets. Are these chickens free range? Dude, it looks like the shot from Carnes of the Chicken Player. Remember? It, it, it looks like Carnosaur, <laughs> Carnosaur stock footage. All you had to do was let me give you a shade. <clears throat> We've now stepped into the Hewitt family house. Yeah, what the hell is going on here? We're in Texas now. I'm going to make you scream like a girl. That is sexist. My name is Ellie May. You should ask me you assume. You stay right there. Ellie Mae will go to no, will stop at no links to make a sale, Josh. And I'll be right back. He will not take no for an answer. This does not distract him. This is a hell of a salesman right here. Yeah, he's he'll go right in. He doesn't care if someone's tied up. He doesn't care if someone's getting murdered. 
He's gonna close. Remember, woman, I told you in the Carnosaur episode, just have get that safe word out quicker. The safe word is stop. For the love of God, stop. Dear God, please stop. That's all. <laughs> People need to learn their safe words before they play. Oh man, I don't want to see no DB. That's what. We're doing. Yeah, this is. This is this is disturbing. This is like the, the, the scene of the cow in the remake of Psycho. It's like, what purpose does this serve? Did you ever this see is... that? Where like he sees like a vision and he's like and he sees flashes of like a cow getting hit by a car. It's like what the hell? Well, yeah, what's the point of this? Yeah. Did you got the money? Here's your money. Hey, that's a two dollar bill. Thanks, Jake. Handing it to Ellie May. Ellie Mae, bring that $2 bill over so I can uh, put it in my collection. <laughs> I swear it sounded like she did, she's trying to say, Dad, let me out of this tape. That's really messed up. That's what she was yelling. Ellie Mae's moonshine is like Walter White's meth. His special ingredient is makes it green <laughs> instead of blue. <laughs> Science, bitch. Who's Ellie Mae's uh, sidekick? Oh, Who's Ellie Mae's Jesse? Oh, God. Don't even know the answer to that one. I don't think he has one. Yeah, his sidekick. Pair of legs. <laughs> yeah, the pair of legs is with the four so eaten out. It's shit! Yeah, see? Sally! Yeah, you can tell it's Sally. She's got it in her eyes. stuff could kill you. Man, this bear is getting around there. Okay, right. whoever the sound right. designer is there needs is to just cut the shit off right on. now. <laughs> Apparently, you need to you need to pass out some paint slips. This guy's Look, phoning it in with, with the soundtrack. Listen, this barrel is still warm and these tracks around here are still fresh. If there was okay, I was joking a second ago. Now it's like, shut up. He keeps tricking me. It you sounds like it's going away, and then it gets loud again. What are you doing? To you See what I mean? This guy was from the height of ecstasy, pissing in that pond, Don't to the lows of, of of this, seeing his friend eat in half. You killed to No, you didn't let him finish. He said, "If you go to this campsite, you're going to have a pond to piss in, and Sally and Trish is going to get killed." You didn't let me finish. U.S. military chemical warfare nuclear wastes use no hooks. You mean these? Rednecks are drinking that shit? No, I don't think anyone could be that stupid. But I think the residue from Well, they did sign on for this movie. <laughs> that guy's jacket is like eight sizes too large for him, and it's distracting the living shit out of me. Is anybody else having... Is, 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 I'm sorry about the subtitle. <laughs> like, I keep wanting to pronounce it. that it would kill them, but my guess is that it just turned them into horrible maniacs. It's, you know, this lady right here, it's good to see Tina Yothers from Family Ties fall back on her feet, you know? Yeah, she, she had to land on her feet after everything. Chemicals oozing up out of the back. What's this crazy shit? So a redneck Everybody is driving down the road and picks up a shaver. When the morning comes, I don't Two guys walk into a bar. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Yes, Josh. I got a joke for you. All right. A blind guy walks into a bar. He just That's walks the into a bar because he's blind? <laughs> yeah, because he's blind. Okay. <laughs> I actually got the punchline before you told it to me. <laughs> I'm joke. getting better at this. <laughs> the helmet's got like stuff in it to make it stay with it. Here comes the guy who lost the freaking barrel. That... <laughs> to go look for the barrel. What branch of the military are they from, anyways? <laughs> These guys are the National Guard. They work on the weekends. These are the people. They're doing their one month, uh, one weekend a month here. Well, what should we do now? That's up to you. We got Fire your agents. Fuck that man. I'm not following the son of a bitch anywhere. Stop it, Bob. I ain't taking any more of this shit. Why don't you deal with your own fucking problem? You're my problem, you bastard. Hey, that was like a judo move right there. Good for him. I don't that even guy. remember that one guy. I, I think he just jumped in halfway through the movie. The guy in the back just drinking the bottle of booze? Yes, yes. I, I don't think he was in the beginning. 
That guy in the back drinking the booze looks like a dollar store version of the guy who worked for the TV station on Wayne's World. <laughs> like, We're really digging to the bottom of the barrel for this movie, folks. You know what I'm, you know what I'm talking about? Where he's like, yes. he's like, I got a problem. I got paid today. Hey, that, that guy took his jacket off. Are you happy? Woman, please, swallow your food before you start yelling at us. That guy's like, in order to listen to her, I gotta have another swig of this food. It's like Travis Tritt over there is just waiting for his next you know, album to drop. It's a great day to be alive. You okay, you know what? Now the guy without the hat on kind of reminds me of the guy from Tremors. Kevin Bacon's partner. Hurt Ward. The dad on Joe Dirt. Travis Tritt's like, fuck you. I'm in the Bible Belt. Is this lady still talking? You know, I think I saw somebody do this monologue in an acting class I was in. Well, I heard her say something about not getting a job, wanting to slit her wrist, so I just assume it's the same thing. First of all, Josh, I want to see what kind of acting chops you have. You can either perform a scene from Othello, or you can perform a scene from Red Egg Zombies. <laughs> Dude, he found Batman's uh, uh, bat, uh, zombie bat spray. That guy's hair uh, changed. He's how scared he was. Travis Tripp finally showed a little emotion there. <laughs> Oh, he, he's not scared of the zombie, he's scared because half his bottle's gone, and he's really far away from the liquor store. And he can only extend his uh, middle finger up a, a couple times a day. Dude, am I am I crazy, or did the Travis Trick guy appear halfway through this movie? I, ha I hadn't seen him actually show up to the camp, so I don't know if he showed up just because he heard craft services uh, <laughs> had showed up. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. You gotta get that, that sun suntan lotion on. Yeah, is that sunscreen? Was he gonna drink it? Okay, there's that fucking sound again. I found the bane of my existence. I think I am done now. Someone needs to tell that guy that sunscreen is for external use only. Wig guy. Come here, wig guy. Chill out, Bob. What the hell is going on with Bob? It's like, Troma's like, oh, this is good shit. Just keep it rolling. Keep it going. It's the same. It's the same. Uh, Heracles worked on. Uh, Heracles. And so. God damn it! No. The evil one willing. Come on, let's go. Jesus. Go. Get your shit together. That's two narrators the in the word. same film. What are we taking him for? Look, just grab a leg. I'll tell you later. Come on. Full. That's it. You know, I, I said tremors. There's like eight of those now. Yeah, I've seen the first five or six. Once Jamie Kennedy uh, was introduced, I was like, two. "Yeah, I was like, okay, I'm done." I I'll, I'll watch them, but you know, maybe maybe uh, we'll end up doing some of them here on the show later. Tremors Two is not bad. Like where they're using the remote control cars to blow up the the graboids. Yeah, Fred Ward was the guy I was thinking of. Yeah, I, I called that, him that's Herb who that Ward, guy yeah, reminds me of now without the hat. Hat on, John Ritter. Head off, Fred Ward. Hat off, Fred Ward. Did you know Hat Fred off, better actor. Did you know Fred Ward was in a he was a martial artist in his own movie called Remo Williams in the eighties, where he was a martial artist Had guy. No yeah, he he had his own starring vehicle, and it was supposed to have sequels and everything. Very good, It didn't take off. Okay, Travis Tritt, you're getting a little too close. You ever play that game Snake Rattle and Roll on Nintendo? No, I haven't. No. Hey, come on, man. You're pretty. It's one of them games that ends and says, "See you in the sequel, Snakes in Space," and it never gets made. Brought to you by the same people who brought you the Mario Brothers movie. Oh God, dude, don't say that. We're gonna end up having to watch that on the show. That's like one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life, and I know you kind of like it. Yeah. Not enough to watch it again. Dennis Hopper as Bowser was maybe one of the worst casting decisions ever, and maybe Leguizamo as Luigi. I should have just went animated. Hundred percent, hundred percent. They should have. They should have just made it like the Super Mario Brothers three cartoon that was yeah. on on Saturday morning. I love those cartoons. I still watch those. 
Me too. I have the DVD set. Super Mario World gets on my nerves as an adult because of Iktar. Yeah, there's some things about it that the have aged well. Yeah, yeah. And Yoshi, it's like, God, just kill Yoshi and eat him already. My girlfriend loves Yoshi. She, like, whenever she, like, her whole ex part of her existence makes her happy is getting Yoshi in Super Mario World. I, I love Yoshi, but in the cartoon Super Mario World, he is just annoying as shit. <laughs> I think even as a kid, I was like, oh my god, it's a Yoshi episode. Y Yoshi in the game, like, as a kid, you have to make some serious decisions. You have to decide when you're going to kill Yoshi in order, to, in order to jump off him to get secret levels. You get a baby Yoshi, and you feed it, and you, help, and you watch it grow, and then you just use it to get a high jump. Yeah, then you murder it uh, to get the second, uh, you know, finish line stick in the back. Oh god, Heracles' sister's back at it. You know, you look back on those shows and you're like, oh, we used to watch them all the time, and then you find out, like, Zelda the cartoon and Mario World, you only had, like, 13 episodes, ever. Yeah, and it's Game like, Master. I know I watched more episodes than that. Nope. The, the Game Master one, where he has the zapper. God, uh, he had, like, three seasons. I, uh, and then Kid Icarus and all that other stuff. Hey, we're going to an episode of Captain Inn, check it out. Yeah, this is actually one of those 3D posters that you see at the mall. We have actually successfully uh, crossed our eyes. Yeah, we can see it now. Heracles is like, come on, sister. I know you've got 50 more effects to go through. Let's see them. A schooner is a sailboat. This reminds me of the beginning of Ernest Scared Stupid. How it's like him like with the green screen behind him with a bunch of different stuff. <laughs> Hey, it's they, a David Bowie knife. They fired Ernest in Ernest Scared Stupid, and he's the only garbage man in town. I don't know if they thought that decision through. Well, you know, they're kind of in the right in that movie, because he is the one that literally brings hell to Earth for the town. Yeah, but he's also the one who saves Earth, too, because a Worrell has to do it. I swear the subtitles just said Depeche Mode. This movie would be better if Depeche Mode did the soundtrack instead of just a kazoo in the background. Yeah, there was a Millie Vanilli episode of Super Mario Brothers 3. The, the actual band Millie Vanilli was in the episode? Yes, yes. I wonder if they provided their actual No, somebody voices. else did the voiceover for them. They just used it. <laughs> they lip synced in their, in their, in their uh, audio booth. They didn't even record their own voiceover work. And today on Cooking with Tyrone... <laughs> Fred Ward's like, is that a tremor? Did you just pull a graboid out of there? <laughs> Fred Ward. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. This guy, this guy is actually, this is how he acts when he plays Operation. <laughs> Next time I'm bringing Monopoly. <laughs> yeah, we are not bringing Operation ever again while we're taking LSD. I got to say... What the hell is going on? This guy is it's like, can you finish your fucking turn? I'd like to go. Right. Yeah. I know. Oh God, will you put the tweezers down? You think it might be that? But you know these. Like, I like it. Is this is oh, this improv or do you think this is uh, written dialogue, Josh? I'm gonna go with uh, oh, so we shit. Well, no, no, I'm not trying to make it yet, but what? Okay, now all I can see. Is I mean, he's playing Operation right now. That's all I see too. Look, look, this is a roller coaster. Dude, nobody give this guy high ever again. He's the guy that ruins the high for everybody else in the room. I gotta say, Travis Tritt is like, he can hold his liquor. He's not made a peep, but he's been drinking all day and night. Yeah, he's like Julian in Trailer Park Boys. He's just sipping his rum and coke the entire film. Pericles, that was a lazy transition. I wonder where we can get the soundtrack for this film. Uh, I got it for you. 
There you go. The guy singing this redneck zombie sounds like the dude from Hey Dude who's like, watch out for those killer cacti. <laughs> hey, dude. dude. It's a little wild and a little strange. When you drink surge out in the woods. <laughs> so grab LMA and come along. Because Tyrone wants to play Operation. And your favorite character, Ted, will leave after a few episodes. Characters show up halfway through, halfway through the film. <laughs> Just like Travis Tritt. Now I'm going to spray zombie hen too. I am digging that uh, cowboy tie, though. That's pretty cool. I love cowboy ties. They look awesome. Bolo ties? Is that what they're called? Like, they're, yeah, they're called like western tie. ties in the south. That the tissue becomes uh, J Joe Bob wears those. Decay in the Yep. Travis Stewart is just enjoying the shit out of this, man. He's just he's just observing everybody. They don't even know he's there. He's just like watching. Yeah, he's just having a good time. He's not even part of the group. They're all so high, they have no idea he's even there. He's just a guy watching like these guys are fucking crazy. Give me more to drink. Here. This this guy is actually explaining to Walter White how to make meth. This is where Walter White learned the the recipe for ice. How the hell am I supposed to know? I'm going to say something crazy here, but that the guy going nuts, is play, he plays really good at being crazy. I believe he is psychotic. What the hell was that? I don't know. It's a graboid. I don't know, but I better look. I bet. I don't know. But let's run this way where it's no longer late at night and it's early morning. The set, dude, Josh, they're still playing that freaking kazoo thing in the background. Dude, I'm trying to drown it out. <laughs> as soon as she said it, I can hear it again. Woo, 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 You're going to kill me, but... I'm here to see Fester. Oh, he's all Fester. No, I get it now. Ellie Mae, rule number one, bud. Don't get high on your own supply, dog. Oh, it was his mall. It's shake and bake, Ma, and I help. Uh, every time I see them driving that thing, I hear the Beverly Hills, uh, Beverly Hillbillies uh, theme song. I'm not gonna change this time. Here, <laughs> we need three of the most I'm inept military officers ever on the scene. Right? Fuck you. Give me a head, Sherman. Here, hold this asshole. It looks like Randy Quaid in the background. Oh, that God. right there. That's Ishmael. Almost looks like Jim Varney there in the passenger seat. Walter, and the safety razor. Whoa, Ty, check it out. It's a native. Oh, hello. Oh my God, I didn't see that. Hey, you, get over here. Wow, I guess he's Scorpion now. Hey, you, get over here. Oh man, that boy don't look right. Come here, I'm gonna cut you. This whole oh. movie is a fatality oh, for us. Freeze, Fine, motherfucker. Dude, I have. Uh, I've been paying attention to the movie and riffing on it, and I have fucking no idea what I've seen. Oh, he's sick. Let's take him with us. So that guy must be part of the don't ask, don't sure, tell sure. part of the military, apparently, Josh? Uh, it seems that way. What's Mark Summers doing there? Next, don't double dare. <laughs> I double dare you to do this movie. Be nice, Sherman. Fuck you. You don't have to be so aggressive. You don't look so bad. Jesus, Damn it. I wanted maple trachea. Not glazed. Oh shit, we got it. We got his. It's. It's Bud, man. That zombie actually knew how to take a proper Polaroid picture. He didn't shake it, he actually took the picture correctly. You get the Bud reference, right? Day of the Dead? Oh, yeah. Day of the Dead was available on Tubi for a little bit. You are like the guy with the facts, man. Do you see the movie Deliverance? He's like, weekend's over, bitch. <laughs> it's Monday. I'm out of here. Oh, never mind. Oh, no! That handkerchief isn't standard issue camo, sir. You're going to have to be eaten for that. This guy is just the luckiest son of a bitch in the world. He gets out of the movie. Oh, hell. Ah, uh, typo. God dang it. 
I love the whole leg fetish in this movie. It's always it's from the waist down. Everything. It's always the legs. Karen you don't see any torsos. Up. This is an anti torso production. Probably easier on their budget actually the, to produce like <laughs> you mean on a life cast. Jet. <laughs> Life cast of an upper torso with a head and stuff probably costs more money. Yeah, just stuff a pair of jeans with shit. It's legs. Yeah, totally. That's stuff with socks and blankets, dude. It's our butt shit. Man, we have got. To <laughs> <a plan. laughs> He's got to get that drink, man. <laughs> He's just drinking that the whole film for two days. I loved a while ago they were in pitch black and then they said let's go. They took off running and it's broad daylight. It not is just, all my fault. I not, actually caused this, but don't not tell just anybody. A, herd, a bodacious herd. I don't know, but I think I think we're on our own. No. Oh, Cephas is scared. Hey, look, there's no hard feelings, but we gotta get out of here. Oh snap! Camp on the wall. Late for you. I. He's never gonna make weight for the wrestling meet like this. Oh. Hey, Josh, you know how you could stop this particular zombie if he is Donkey Lips? How's that? Just set up a bunch of tires in front of uh, <laughs> people that are alive because he has a hard time with, you know, going through tires to get the flag for capture the flag. I think he ate some uh, 3D Doritos, man. He had some anal leakage there. Hey, at least the guy who's responsible for this whole shithole of a movie just got murdered. That's good. You, you and, remember the whole Doritos 3D thing, right? About I how they were giving people... It was a real side effect on the bag. Uh, it said anal leakage? It could cause anal leakage. Yeah, it was Dorito 3D. And it was the some type of thing they were using in it. Some preservative or something. And it, they had to put a warning on there that it could cause anal leakage. I remember yellow number five, the dye, was causing your sperm cell count to drop. Do you remember reading anything about that? Uh, no. But yeah, yellow yeah, five. No. I had a nice big old plate of yellow five earlier today, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> yellow number five. Yeah, yellow uh, number number five was actually Lou Bega's first hit. Yellow number five. They had to put <laughs> Oh, Fester, so cute. I want a little toddler zombie. I mean they're not walking fast. They're not running at you. Like, get the hell out of there. It's like in uh, The Pick of Destiny. Stay right there, I'm going to cut you. And Jack Black's like, no. <laughs> no way. Because it's the pick of Destiny, Destiny. Child. A long ass fucking time ago in a town called Kickapoo. That guy with the with the Lysol can right there, that's me trying to, <laughs> to kill a spider that's on my wall. Right, just spray out a whole can of hairspray. Yeah, spray, spray a whole can of hairspray and like stand five feet away while I'm looking away. There you go. You, he didn't let me down. He's my favorite character in this entire movie. Break that, that bottle guy. open. Start slicing some of his thumb. Yeah, they, the reason that they put may cause anal leakage is because they didn't have enough room to put may cause chromis red neck. Same thing. <laughs> this this is the film version of anal leakage. <laughs> that dude has a can of Barbasol. Oh, it's How did I know it? He's a badass. Oh, she's done. <laughs> Fred Ward! Into action. <laughs> what the that was like a that was like a say no to drugs commercial. He's like, never mind. I got things to do. That's trouble. Get off of her. I got dibs on that. God, man, this this community is like famished. These zombies are not well fed. Yeah. See you later, Fred Ward. I hope this guy don't die. If he dies, I'm done with this movie. He just did a Three Stooges. <laughs> hey, all I gotta say is that damn mouth heart. He's got another bottle of booze. Oh, he got a, He has another bottle. We're talking anal leak, and he's got. I think he's pulling bottles out. <laughs> Fred Ward's like, but I was gonna do Tremors 20. 
I was there were talks of me being in the Joe Dirt prequel. Don't know why they didn't bring me back for the sequel. Oh, 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 we got another set of legs. That's a pretty cool effect. They did the same thing in Jason Lives. Put the other half of them in the ground, you know? Yeah, bent them over, Sheriff Garris. Yeah, oh God, that's such a brutal scene. He, he was protecting that little girl. Dude, he it was Coral! Coral! There's Coral! Coral climbs! He turned into a zombie. Oh, man. Run, I want, Travis, run! I want Travis Tritt to live, and I want the guy holding the can of Barbasol to die. Yes. Dude, you don't... You get off of my Travis Tritt. He's got to live. Yeah. Sacrifice yourself for the good of the <laughs> Slash Tracks team here. Now I he's got a bottle it. of gin. The guy comes in halfway through the movie with, like, a, a backpack... His backpack is just full of liquor. He just sold out Oh, his, no, you He did. just sold out his friend. Oh, no, you... It. This lady's uh, still not dead, Josh. At least don't eat him all the way. Let him be a, a zombie. Uh, they better check their BAC after eating him. They better. None of them better be driving after yeah, this. None of those zombies, if they have a blow-and-go on their cars, they are absolutely fucked. Where did the Coral, Coral Grom zombie go? You saw him, right? Yes. There he is. <laughs> he... He just ate part of his friend to pretend like he's a zombie. That was pretty funny. That's what I would call you. Don't no, worry, dude. This, you know what? This is why you never have family game night. You should have never brought up the idea of playing Operation. This is, this is a bitch. <laughs> too good. That's he, Josh, that's what he gets, man. He was that's taking way too long with his turns. He was like, nobody else could even have a try. You know, it's like playing with your brother on Super Mario Brothers. And they never die. You're just sitting there holding the controller, hitting pause, trying to piss them off after a while. And then they, and then they won't die. And then they're explaining to you about the moves they're going to make and why they're so good and like what led them to this, you know, spot of greatness. At least they fixed that shit with Mario Three. <laughs> Then I would just wait till they went over the space where I won, and that put them into that mini game. Oh yeah, the the, the actual Super Mario Brothers arcade. The very the yeah, that the was Mario, Mario Brothers. Brothers. Yes, that was Mario Brothers. The very first Mario Brothers. Lend in, be the tree, be one with the tree. Just act like a zombie. Get that paint off your face, though. That's where the Ultimate Warrior got inspiration for his war paint. Actually, right here. Wait a this movie could have came from the mind of the Ultimate Warrior now that you say it. A Jim Hellwig production. I would not. If I saw that, I would be like, oh, it all makes sense now. Hey, look, it's the generator running the production. <laughs> that's, that's, what, that's what's controlling the whole production. Pericles! Please be over. <laughs> oh, Please be over. Sorry. Great cut up, though. <laughs> oh, she got hit in the head with the iron board. Oh, oh no. She said no, all right? Archie Bunker's house, man. <laughs> Edith? Oh, my God, dude. Mouse trap or tea kettle? Which one are you going to get? Go for the mouse trap. Well, they just got done playing um, Operations. Now they're going to play Mousetrap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not decap. She's So, by my count, Josh, she's the only human left. Yes. Somebody needs to kill her so we can get this movie over with. <laughs> Moral of the story, if you do a kick-ass monologue in the middle of a shitty zombie movie, you live. Oh, thank God. Zombie with a machete. Intelligent thought. And nobody knows this? That's actually Lloyd Kaufman right there. Oh. He always does not fit in his movies. Did you know that? Is that actually Lloyd Kaufman? I don't know, but it sounds believable, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I, I had heard that he does do a bit in his movies. Yeah, I, I figure he was there somewhere we just didn't see him. This, this lady right here might be Lloyd Kaufman. 
you know what? Very well, very way, very. I can't say very well, maybe. That's where uh, all the money went in the budget was to the I, <laughs> prosthetics. I got a her. contact drunk from uh, Travis Tritt. Sorry. Yeah, we need to check our BAC after watching this film. She's like, still not the worst dinner I've ever had. The real moral of this story, Surge is shit. <laughs> Even if it says 35 cents, boys and girls, resist it. Get a Mountain Dew. Or squirt. Oh, squirt. <laughs> I love how her, that blood on her cheeks has been wet this entire time. Hey, so there was a surge. There was a surge, uh, like a bottle, like a surge uh, machine in our in our lunchroom in high school. Each can was thirty five cents. I was poorer than poor. I went to buy a can of surge one day, and instead of a surge, I got a uh, a plastic container shaped like a surge with a surge T shirt in it. So I was a fat kid. So the shirt the shirt was a medium. So I can't wear the shirt, and I have oh. nothing to drink. Totally worthless. Took my would've 35 cents. Shirt. Yeah. Probably would have been better for me than the Surge, actually. Tasted if I would have better. Tasted yeah, better. Ate the, the shirt. Medium-sized shirts from the t-shirt gun at sporting events are, like, mocking me the entire time. It's like, oh, this I got actually, a shirt. This is actually a Tampax commercial. Do you oh, suffer with, from a heavy flow? <laughs> yeah. Carrie's Revenge, brought to you by Troma Productions. All right, guys, remember how we did all those zoom-ins uh, with the boots stepping on the sticks? I want boots on stairs. <laughs> Let's film it, print it, or film it, shoot it, print it. As much feet on screen as possible. He's got a major foot fetish. <laughs> Just a secret foot fetish. And this this is like the stairway to heaven, dude. It's got like 100,000 stairs. <laughs> this guy is still coming down the stairs. If that guy lives in this house with this many steps, his ab you could probably crack wall in his ass cheeks. <laughs> it's Coral. He's even got Rick's hat on. <laughs> this is what I think of Walking Dead season seven. Oh! This lady took care of business. Yeah. It's like, why didn't she do this shit earlier before her friends were dead? Shotguns. Their only weakness. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> How do we kill zombies? I oh, just shoot them in the head with a 12 gauge. Gunpowder and lead. <laughs> yeah. Weakness. The one thing we didn't think about. The one thing she can't stop. The credits. Oh, shit. This whole thing is a Chick fil A uh, commercial. Eat more beef. I love how they all they got. They got like basic white and black Halloween makeup. I guess they went like uh, when like three days after Halloween when it's all uh, like half off and that's all that's left. <laughs> no, they went to Target or like uh, Walmart when it was like eighty-two percent off. The the bad part is you're alive when they start to eat you. Okay, all they Alan, get, Grant, you're scaring the shit out of that kid. All they get to eat on set is the Halloween candy that, like, a month later, that was, like, set, you know, 89% off. That's craft services. There's a store that's already got Christmas stuff out close to where I live. That's absurd. Can we at least have our Halloween season, Josh? 2020 has not really been the greatest. Can we please have our Halloween season? Dude, my son wants to be a plague doctor for Halloween. That is so badass. Hey. That's pretty. That's pretty uh, inventive, actually. Especially My nowadays. Wants to be Annabelle. Of course. Oh, Fester! I can't even. Okay, yeah. that is just the cutest thing. I love this movie for that one scene right there. Oh, he's like a grown ass man now. Yeah, I told you, boy. All we do is eat human bodies and drink Coca Cola. Now I know why there's not zombie babies and kids in zombie movies and TV shows. Because we would all just be going, Aww. Oh my god, they brought it back. Oh god. Stop it. I need, you... I need like a video editing of my head exploding here. Because that's what it's about to do. Do you suffer from heavy flow? If you do... 
Then see this guy. <laughs> then see this man. <laughs> it actually looks like he's trying to. Well, that's horrible. I could do without this scene. Woman, come on. You don't need to be falling apart. This can't be the guy that, that she just killed a whole family of zombies. This cannot be the guy. Give him an awful waffle. Give the, yeah, give his ass an awful waffle. Oh, oh, God. I'll never eat a waffle again after saying waffle while he was doing that. He's actually just screaming, I should have never done this movie. Sam Raimi really let the Deadites go. They weren't on any training program or anything for this film. No, but I, I really think that's why we don't see babies and kids as zombies. It'd be too damn cute. Because that Bester thing, I, that was cute. Ah, we need an epic ending here. Slow it down real slow and have her fall and curl up in the fetal position. No. Oh, God. The, the, the we need more feet. Back. We need ah. more feet. One more shot of feet, guys. Got to get that feet in there. Oh, it's the tobacco man. Redneck Zombies 2. Tobacco Man Lives. This was an anti-smoking campaign, actually. Pregnant. This whole film was a, a way to get kids not to smoke. These are all the people that were forced to watch this movie. Hey, he lived! Hey, he's drinking! All right! Well, you know, I was wondering who Mental Patient 1 was. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Casey. I wasn't even aware there was a doctor in this film, Josh. <laughs> I got the guy there a second ago. His name was Bob, and the actor had, like, two names. Hoss. He played Bob. Hey, Hoss the dog. Uh, so I guess I guess the, the director, who was a dog, hired one of his friends. <laughs> no, no, it's kind of like, you know how uh, Smithy thing with directors where they have a different name? That's yeah. actually the name that dog directors use whenever they don't want to claim the movie. <laughs> it's his pseudo name. <laughs> yeah, instead of Alan Smith, it's whatever that was. You know, this is, this song, Redneck Zombies, is still not as bad as the Waffle House songs they have on the jukeboxes. Um, I, I, I worked at the Waffle House as a waiter when I was like 16. Yeah. There was nothing else. And there was like three CDs worth of songs about Waffle House, uh, country songs. And I'm not even kidding. This song is actually a G7 at every Waffle House uh, across the country. Yeah, if you're curious, it's always G7. Yeah, this is G7. Um, look, it, it'll say like written by uh, Pericles. Love you can theme also, from Red Dead Zombies. Uh, Wait, they're showing the song, so are they going to say who wrote and performed Mouth Harp, Annoying Bane of Josh's Existence song? I'm going to call it Squirrels from Hell. That's that, that Squirrels from Hell right there. That was the noise that was driving me crazy. Because that's what it, that's got to be what that noise is. Squirrels from Hell. That, there was one guy, if you look back at the credits like 10 seconds ago, he played rhythm guitar, banjo, drums, uh, string guitar. He played like eight different instruments. Right. Redneck Zombies is a work of fiction. If anybody was confused, we cleared it up. Yeah, this credits. is not a biopic. This is fiction. Travis, No Travis Tritts were harmed in the filming of this movie. Fred Ward regrets it to this day. Oh, here we go. Oh, I thought I thought Nick Fury was going to show up. All right, man. Well, it looks like uh, we made it through Redneck Zombies with our sanity. Uh, if I heard that mouth harp one more time, I I don't think I would be saying that. And so it the mouth harp begins. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> it's going to haunt me from ev like every episode now. The fucking the uh, Giz Uli. Is Rector Disrec the Ghoulies narrator guy is gonna like play the mouth heart to annoy me? I think, but uh, do -do 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 -do. <laughs> oh man, so yeah, my first impressions on this movie is uh, I was honestly looking the time saying, Is it over? Is it over? Is it almost over? Um, 
And so then, you didn't enjoy it at all? No, man, I had fun. I enjoyed it. I uh, When Travis Tritt showed up, it just took off for me. Yeah, I'm going to have to agree with you. I remember this movie being better when I was younger. Uh, but, you know, when you're a kid, I think it, when you're first introduced to B-movies or anything that's, like, very schlocky, every, it's new to you and really interesting and just funny. But when you become an adult, you're like, I don't got time for this shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> I don't have enough time in my life clock to, to go through this again. That's why Dr. Evil is such an asshole, because he's making us do this. Well, you know... Doctor Evil, Master Evil, Master yeah. Evil. Bastard right. Evil, more yeah. like it. More like but hey, it. yeah, making us do it, and you're going to go watch Clash of the Champions with him. Oh, and look who's calling. Great, <laughs> here we go. I wonder what wonder what he's going to make us watch next time. Ratchet. Let's see. It is not Doctor Evil. It is Master Evil. I am future master of the world. Just remember that. Okay. Noted. It's written down. Curses, I see you to have your sanity. I will break you yet. Believe me, next time you won't feel so good after the credits roll. <laughs> it can't get worse than what we just set through with that mouth arc and stuff. Josh, don't say that because you're going to make him dig harder and deeper for something that's really bad. Like, very inconvenient. Alex is right, Josh. You want to challenge me, Master Evil? In oh, that shit. case, I will answer your challenge with a movie so bad that even Full Moon Pictures passed on the movie... Over to Sci Fi Channel. <laughs> oh, shit. I feel a Corey Feldman flick coming on, Josh. Oh, yes, indeed. Next time, you two will suffer the sinister made for TV train wreck called Puppet Master. Versus demonic toys. <laughs> no comes. Do you want me to read you a bedtime story? Ma! I'm not done with my prisoners yet! And, and you know what I told you last time. Oh, of course. That you're a big boy and are big enough to get two bedtime stories. Um, catch you next time, prisoners. You heard nothing. Uh, sorry, that, that, that's my bad. My bad. I should have never said it couldn't be worse. Um, do I have, do I have to have seen all the other films in both those franchises to be able to watch this and be up to speed? Uh, What's the situation with that? I have no clue. Um, if, if Full Moon Pictures really passed this movie to Sci-Fi Channel, then I'm guessing it's going to be like a Sci-Fi Channel movie that was passed on by M M M Full Moon Pictures. Um, I've uh -huh. definitely learned a lesson tonight. I will not challenge Mr. Two Bedtime Stories. I told you to just leave him alone when he's on the screen. This is exactly why you end up in the situations you end up with. No, 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 no. I end up in these situations because you're not even a prisoner. I don't think you're stuck there. I Listen, the key he gave me for the ankle bracelets, Josh, is on the honor system. And the reason that I'm not an actual prisoner or, you know person who's not able to go somewhere is because I stand firm with the honor system. You, on the other hand, are always challenging him, which is why you're put in these ridiculous situations. You're projecting your issues with Master Evil on me, and I don't appreciate it. And we talked about this in therapy on Skype. Don't pretend you, like you weren't there. You know, Therapist Evil made some good points that day. I got, it, I got, I got to agree with that. But the thing is, man... 
you got a key. You literally don't have to come back and do this. How is that torture? I, it's not, listen, if I, if I wasn't Did in this Did you kidnap apartment, me? No, I don't have anything to do with, no, I don't have anything to do with it. Listen, if I wasn't in this fully stocked apartment with all my utilities paid for and grocery bill money and all my other stuff paid for, I'd have to go get a real job. And Josh, that would be the real torture. That would be the real torture. Okay. So hanging that over your head is the torture. Yes. I would and have is to it actually fully go into stocked? the I mean, it's, it's gotta be at least like just kind of not fully stocked, right? It's like partially stocked. Oh no, no, it's fully stocked. It's full, fully loaded. Uh, everything, but, but not your favorites. It's, you know what? <laughs> I like brown eggs. I like Rhode Island red eggs. And he, he gets me white eggs. Just normal, you know, white chicken eggs, I guess. You know what? What? I, I'm ready for Puppet Master versus Demonic Toys or or whatever. Um, yeah. So thank you, everybody, so much for watching Slash Tracks. Um, redneck Zombies, we all lived through it. Travis Barely. Tripp lived through it. And uh, something Josh, with the tobacco, man. Josh, do you hear something? I think I hear the noise from... Stop it. I'm going to be I having... I think I hear it. Ears. God, now it's here. Oh, now yeah. Now it's here. I hear it. <laughs> so, two weeks from now, we've got a date with Demonic Toys and Puppet Master. Um, you guys voted on the poll that Master Evil made me put on the channel. Thank you so much. Huge, huge, huge amount of people voted for this movie. You must really hate us. So, uh, we'll see if we can keep our sanity next time. <laughs> Alex, thank you for being an awesome co-host. And, uh... Thank you. Uh, be excellent to each other out there, folks. And we'll see you on the next episode of Slash Tracks. I'm not going to therapy this week. You can just forget about it. You picked them out of a phone book. It was the only page in there, man. I thought Therapist Evil might know how to deal with somebody like Master Evil and the effects he has. Not the brightest decision I ever made. We'll talk about this later. All right. Well, in therapy was when we're going to yeah, talk I'm about I'm going to go eat my McRib now, okay? Good All night. Right. All right. Go, go play Operation on LSD or something. <laughs> Peace. I'm still waiting on my turn. Yeah, you're going to keep waiting. Have a good night, man. See you later.